Hello, hello. Welcome back, guys. How are you today? Good. How are you, teacher? Hey, what's going on, Freddie? Are you ready for your English class? I'm very ready. All right. Very good. Hello, Carla Tatiana. How are you? Uh, I'm very stressful. <laughs> Really? Oh, Why? Homework in, in the in my home. Ah, okay, all right. You need to relax a little bit. Enjoy your life. <laughs> yes, yes, really, really. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, of course. Hello, Cesar Alexander. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, mm. good evening. It's very fine, but I very tired. Really? For Why? Where do you work? I work in in my. It's, it's a bakery. Is. Mm -hmm. Como se dice dueño, teacher? Owner. Owner. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Nice. Boss, yeah, Carla says boss. <laughs> Very good, thank you. All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome, everybody. I hope that everybody's feeling good today. We're going to go ahead and get started with our class. Who can tell me what do you remember from yesterday's class? What information can you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember from yesterday's class? ¿Qué recuerda de la clase de ayer? What activities do you remember? Hmm? What do you remember? I remember for problems. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he had problems. Very good, very good. Freddy, yes, what do you remember from yesterday's class? I remember so we, we are studying the uh, health for problems of the life. Very good. Can you give me one example? of a health problem that you remember? For example, how do you say dolor de cabeza? I had a headache, headache, headache. Very good. Um, how do you say dolor de espalda? Backache. Backache, back good, good, back good. That is correct. Okay, so you guys remember a lot of the uh, vocabulary that we were talking about in yesterday's class. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to the activities that we were practicing in yesterday's class? Questions about the activities that we were practicing in yesterday's class? Okay, let me ask you a question. Uh, let me see. Adriana, what do you drink for a headache? That's that. Uh, yes, Adriana? Sorry, yesterday I didn't hear. Oh, okay. Go ahead, Cesar. Yes, I take aspirin, teacher. Very good. I take an aspirin. Excellent. Um, let me see. Uh, Freddy, what do you take for a stomach ache? Uh, for a stomach ache, I take uh, uh, herbal tea. Herbal tea. Very good. Herbal Very tea. 
Very good. All right. Now, for today's class, I would like for us to get started. We're going to move forward. Yesterday, we were looking at health problems. So today, we're going to be looking at the next video, which is complements, infinitive complements. Please look at the video. Complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive compliments. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. All right. I would like for you to ask me questions about this information. Questions, questions? All right. About this. Yes. All right, let me give you an example. For example, uh, you say it is helpful to go to the doctor, or you could say it is helpful to drink lots of water. It is. It's an instrument that help. use <clears throat> that use the doctor to, to attend to drink. What is this? What do you uh, say, paciente in in English? Patient. <laughs> Patient. Okay. It is helpful to drink a lot of water. It is a good idea to take cough drops. Or you could say, it is helpful to take cough drops. Right? So if you start the sentence, with the first part, for example, it is helpful, it is important, it is a good idea. So you can start the sentence with these uh, phrases and then the complement to drink, which is the preposition and the verb in the simple present, or in this case, to go, you have the preposition to, and go, and the next one, which is to take, you have the preposition to, and then the verb in the base form. So what I want you to do is I want you to give me three examples with it is helpful, three examples with it is important, and three examples with it is a good idea. And you're going to write the examples over here in the discussion forum. For example, you're going to say, añade una publicación. You're going to go to título and you're going to say, and you're going to write advice. Advice, consejos, right? So you say, it is helpful to get good sleep, All right? Or you can say, it is important, it is important to relax, All right? Or you can say, it is a good idea it is a good idea to drink 
a lot of water. Right? So me van a dar tres ejemplos con it is helpful, it is important, y it is a good idea. And then when you finish, you're going to put enviar like this. Enviar. And then it should appear right here. Oh, the platform is backed up. Any questions? Yes, Carla, tell me, what is your question? Uh, teacher. Hi. Uh, in Spanish, I speak in Spanish. I will, I will be speaking in Spanish. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Usted es el que califica eh, nuestro perfil en la plataforma, según cómo vayamos. Eh, no. No. No, no. no. Ah, bueno. Ya, yeah, administración tiene alguien que se encarga de eso. Gracias. Yes. Another question? Another question? Okay, so right now we're going to work in pairs and we are going to write the examples. Vamos a trabajar en parejas y vamos a escribir los ejemplos. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. Okay. One student can share the screen. One student can share the screen. Teacher. Puedo estar solo de oyente, es que ahorita no puedo. Okay. That's okay. Gracias. Yes. Hey, coach. Hey. Fíjese que no terminé de entender qué es lo que íbamos a hacer. Ah, vamos a escribir tres oraciones utilizando los ejemplos que vimos. It's a good idea too. Es una buena idea. Hello, hello. Hola, teacher. Voy a volver a explicar lo que vamos a hacer, que yo acabo de llegar hace poco a mi casa y no le presté atención. Ok, ok. All right, guys. Uh, everybody finished? I can't. No? I can't. Ok. Eh, vamos a esperar que regresen todos y voy a volver a explicar la, las instrucciones. Imagino que hay varios que tal vez no entendió la explicación. Let's wait one moment. We still got more people coming. Okay, there we go. All right, welcome back, guys. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, ¿Todos entienden cuál es la actividad que estamos haciendo? 
Mm -hmm. I have a question, yes. uh, for example, what should I do for a cough? Uh -huh. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Very good, very good. ¿Qué, qué, de, ¿Qué debería de hacer para una tos? Ah, it's a good idea to drink vitamin C. Right, so you're going to give me three examples. You're going to write three examples using the exercise that we were looking at on the platform. It's a good idea. Uh, what's the other one? Does everybody understand? I recommend you. Recommend you. I recommend you. Uh -huh. All right. ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Van a escribir sí. tres ejemplos utilizando un consejo para aliviar los síntomas. Ok. okay. All right, ready. Los voy a poner en los mismos grupos. Disculpe, ¿en qué, en qué punto del, de la plataforma 2. ¿Cuánto era? Uh, that is section 2.5. 2. Okay. 2.5. Gracias, gracias. 2.5. Yo creo que a dónde es que vamos a poner eso de, de a dónde es que lo vamos a escribir. Estoy haciendo ahorita. For a fever, it's important. For a fever, it's important drink a lot of liquids and take aspirin. Puede ser otra. <clears throat> oh, dijo otro, pero no me acuerdo cuál es. Si ya puede entrar a la plataforma. ¿Sí me escucha? Sí, por ejemplo, para dice para un dolor de dientes por a toothache eh, es importante sí a doctor o visit creo que sería ahí ajá o sí. go go to a doctor uh -huh.
¿Cuántas lleva usted? Es las tres que le he mencionado, pero eran tres, tres y tres, ¿verdad? Sí. Eh, can you help Robert? ¿Te podría ayudar? Sería... Ahí podemos ocupar un condicional, creo. Eh, que sea, eh, it's helpful, por ejemplo, for a package, package. Eh, Yo tengo, pero it need help to take a pill. ¿Para qué? Para, ¿Para qué malestar? Para el dolor de cabeza. For a headache. Uh -huh. It's helpful. También, ¿verdad? Say, uh, take a pill. Okay, is everybody finished or do you guys need more help? Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Are you guys finished or do you need more time? Teacher, I have a question. In the platform where number is... Uh, yes, on the platform, we were working on this section over here. It should have been section number 2.5 infinitives. Ah, okay, 2.5. Mm -hmm. Did everybody finish? Yes. Okay, can I, I hear so. can I hear your examples? Solo dos alcancé a hacer, pero... Pero la hice. <laughs> okay, let me hear those two. Okay, lea las dos que hizo. Okay, ahorita, ahorita estaba. Está cargando. Eh, ahorita, ahorita. Eh, it would be a good idea to visit a doctor uh, last, uh, the number two seria it's useful to drink chamomile tea chamomile 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 ah okay chamomile chamomile y este useful así se pronuncia useful o algo así useful useful okay useful all right all right okay useful. good good christian uh, somebody else that wants to share their examples? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead, David. It's important to eat vegetables. It's a good idea to work out every day. It's helpful to drink a lot of liquid. Perfect, perfect. Anybody else? All right, Cesar? Yes. Go ahead, Cesar. It's important to drink water all day. It's a good idea to take an aspirin. Okay. 
for the flu. Very good, very good. It is a helpful to sleep eight hours in the night. At night. At, At night. night, yes. Very good, all right, good. All right, guys. Yes, Myra. For the flu, it's important go to bed in rest. Okay, good, good. Do you have another example, Myra? Uh, for a call, it's important, important take some medicine in visit the doctor. Okay. All right, good job. All right, guys, uh, now, if you're not finished, that's going to be your homework. Uh, for the next activity, what we're going to be looking at is the next section. We're looking at section 2.6 instructions. Read the following questions. Write the best advice for each health problem. Remember to use infinitive complement. You do not need to rewrite what is in brackets. Instrucciones. Lea las siguientes preguntas. Escriba el mejor consejo para cada problema de salud. Recuerde usar el complemento infinitivo. No necesita recibir lo que está dentro de los parentheses. All right, I would like for everybody to compare and share your answers for this activity. Compare and share your answers for this activity. Ready, let's go, and then we will check together. Um, uh, yes, I finished it uh, today. Yes? What do you yes. have in the first one? Auditorial. What should I do for a sore throat? It's important. It's important to take some vitamin C. The number two says, what, would you, what should I do for a fever? It's a good idea to drink a lot of liquid. Number three, do you have the answers? Ahorita busco. Es la sección dos. Uh -huh. 2.6, ¿verdad? Yes. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Cuál, ¿En cuál nos hemos quedado? En la Tier 1. Eh, fourth, dice, what should I do for to, to check? It's important eh, a dentist 
before uh, to a dentist, uh, we put to go to a dentist. En la 4 y la 5, what shall I do for cough? It's a good idea. What should, I, what should I do for a cough? It's a good idea to mm -hmm. take some to medicine. Take, uh -huh. To take some medicine. Yes. What do you have in the third one? And the third one, uh, I. What should I, I do for a pun? It's sometimes helpful to put yes, some right. ointment uh, on, on, on it. Mm -hmm. Helpful to put some ointment on it. Mm -hmm. To put. Yes. That's right. Sí, estamos. Sí, estas están buenas. Si es que terminamos, hay que esperar. All right, all right. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Did everybody finish? Yes, yeah. sir. Okay, David, number one. Number one says, uh, give me one second. It says, what should I do for a sore throat? It's important to take some vitamin C. Very good. It's important to take some vitamin C. Thank you. Yancy, number two. Freddie, number two. Number two is to drink. Read the sentence, please. Okay. What should I do for a fever? It's a, a good idea uh, to drink a lot of liquids. Excellent. To drink a lot of liquids. Good. The next one, please. Uh, Carla. Uh, mm, I don't have an uh, answer to this question. I have a question about this, this tema in, in English. What is it? What's the question? Topic. Topic. Yes, I have a question about this topic. Yes. We only write two. Two all the verbs. That is correct. That is Para todos correct. los verbos le vamos a agregar el to. El, ese sería el infinitivo, entonces, la idea principal. Yes, yes. Ah, oh, okay, gracias. No? That is correct. All of them have to, to drink, to speak, to eat, to dance, to drive, to work. Entonces, eso sería, el infinitivo son los verbos que no están conjugados en ningún tiempo. ¿Verdad? Correct, correct. Ah, ok. Bueno, gracias. Es como, por ejemplo, cuando usted dice, por ejemplo, usted dice, I love pizza. Right? I love pizza. So, pizza es como el... Sujeto. I, I es el sujeto. Ah, ok. Sí, sí, sí. Love es el verbo y pizza sí. es el objeto, right? So, complemento. Complement. Es el complement, pero el nombre gramatical sería el objeto. I love pizza. Es el objeto del sujeto. So, si yo ah, le digo... El de lo que estamos hablando. Ajá. So, si yo le digo, I love to dance. Ok. So, en este contexto... Dance no es un verbo, es un objeto. Se, se, se cambia de verbo a 
objeto. Y el verbo siempre es love. I love. I es el sujeto. Love es el verbo. Y to dance es el objeto. Bueno, gracias. Ok, excelente. Sí, teacher, pero en el caso de, eh, eh, creo que es I love y I like, también mm -hmm. podemos usar eh, su presente continuo, si no me equivoco, ¿verdad? Y si Correcto. Me lo... Correcto, el gerundio, mm -hmm. que es la misma cosa. I love dancing o I love to dance es exactamente lo mismo. Las dos maneras son válidas y les quieren decir lo mismo. Correct. Ok. Solo que en una está usando el infinitive, que es la prepos preposición to y dance, uh -huh. y en la otra está usando ing. Uh -huh. Pero sería solo con I love y I like, o sea, porque ahí se rompe como que la regla de usar el verbo to be para usar el, el presente continuo. Porque Correct. no estamos diciendo I am o... He is, por, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. That is correct. That is correct. Esta ya es otra función. Ok. Uh, let me have number three. Number three, please. Dave. No, oh, no, David ya hizo una. Catherine. Ok. Number three, please. What should I do? For a board, it's sometimes helpful to put some on time ointment. 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 Ointment is como pomada. Ointment. Hiroki, <laughs> number four. To go to. No, read the sentence. Oh. What should I do for a Toche? Toothache. 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 It's important to go to a dentist. Very good. It's important to go to a dentist. Uh, number five. Uh, number five. Uh, Carlos William. What should I do for? A call. It a good cough. Item. Cough. Al cough. final es como una F. Cough. Uh, cough. It's the day. It's a good idea. Today. Today. Some medicine. Good. All right, guys. It's cool. time for me to take the attendance. So when I call your name. Please say present. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. Cuando llama su nombre, por favor, diga presente. Recuerden que no estoy viendo la página donde está el, el Zoom. Estoy viendo la página de asistencia. So, si usted ve que su compañero escribe en el chat, por favor, me avisa. Adriana, Gretel. Present. Thank you. Today is the second. Uy, allá vamos por el tercer mes y siento que acabamos de empezar el año. It's incredible. Andrea Esmeralda. Present. Carlos, William. I present, teacher. Cesar, Alexander. Present teacher. All right. Christian Oswaldo. Present. Very good. Claudia Jocelyn. Present. All right. David Alonso. Present. Good. Freddy Jose. On here, sir. All right. Glendy. Elisset. I am here. All right. It is Janet. Present. Okay. Irving Hiroki. Present. All right. Jonathan Vladimir. Present. Good. 
Eh, Josué, Miguel. I'm here. Okay. Carla, Tatiana. Carla. Can you hear me? All right, good. Okay. Carla, Tatiana. Catherine, Jasmine. Present. All right. Lisbeth Martinez. Present teacher. Right. Luisa Ariana. Present. All right. Luz Virginia. Luz Virginia. Present. All right. Um, Mayra Patricia. Present. All right. Melissa Guadalupe. Melissa. Yes. Okay. Nerlin Jaciel. Hello, present teacher. Okay. Ricardo Fabricio. Ricardo Fabricio. Absent. Yancy Yamilet. Yancy Yamilet. Absent. Okay. All right. Now, what I would like for us to do is we're going to be moving forward on to the next activity. So for this activity, we're going to be watching a video. What do you suggest? ¿Qué sugieres? Listen, please. Repeat. What do you suggest? What, what do you suggest? 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 Right, eso es, ¿qué sugieres tú? What do you suggest? Listen, please. What do you suggest? What do you suggest? Very good. Vamos a ponerle silencio por el perrito. In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, one more time. Vamos a escucharlo una vez más. Hi, ready to begin? In the conversation we're about to listen to, we will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, let's practice and repeat. Of these Listen and repeat. Hi, may I help you? Hi. 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 Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Could I have yes. something for a cough? 
Could I have something for a call? Something for a cough. I think I'm getting a cold. I think I'm getting a cold. Oh well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Thank, Thank you. you. And what, and what do you, do you get for dry skin? Sky? No, skin. 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 Uh, try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. Okay. My husband has no energy these days. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're really excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Great. May I have large bottles, please? Okay. At this moment, does anybody have any questions in regards to the pronunciation or the meaning yeah, of any I mean of these words? Yeah, um, can I have repeat multivitamin? Uh, yes, repeat multivitamins. 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 Another question in regards to the pronunciation. What's the meaning? May. And, uh, in the, I see in the, in your screen, teacher, uh, three words. Can you give me three words? Can I give you three words? Three yes. bottles. Oh, three bottles. Yes. No, no, three no. bottles. No, words. Yes. Palabras. Las tres palabras que... Estaban en una diapositiva. Creo que finalizar el video. Could, it could be could, should, and may. ¿Qué significa oh. could? Podría. That's right. Podría. Could oh. you. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay. All right, guys. We're going to go ahead and practice this conversation. And then we will practice as a class. I'm going to change partners. Let's go. <laughs> Try and no bomb. Recording in progress. By Alice. Solamente vamos a, 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 ¿cómo se llama? A estar, a practicar vocabulario. 
Sí, comienza usted o comienzo yo. Si quiere, soy el farmacéutico y usted es la, la clienta. Ok. Bueno, empiezo. Ok. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have some something for a call? I think I'm getting a call. Well, I saw just a box, a box of these cow drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. Of of this of this it's, new lotion. It's very good. It's it's, yes. Yes. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He shall try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles? Please. Yes, este. Entonces, hoy usted comienza. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. <clears throat> Would I have something for a cough? Wait a minute, I think I'm getting a call. Well, I suggest a box of these cold drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay, and one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. They're excellent. They are excellent. Sí. No, pero está bien, está bien. Está corrida la, 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 la lectura. Termino. Great. May I three large bottles, please? May I have three? Podría darme tres botes grandes, por favor. Entonces, eso sería. Practicar eso cuando está el apóstrofe de ella. ¿Verdad? Theater. Sí. Me cuesta. La pronunciación. ¿Quién lo envió? Ah, Mayra envió él. <ríe> a ver, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué edición será este libro? Le voy a preguntar a ella. Seguimos una vez más. Ah, oh, no. Ya no. Right, all right, let me have two volunteers, Catherine and Carla, action. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Of course. <laughs> By selecting at me. <laughs> yes, of course. Okay. ¿Quién va a ser la, la farmacéutica, compañera? Bye. Hi. May I help you? Yes, please. Cold, I have something for a cold. I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I saw get a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you do so just for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? Okay, finish, teacher. Perfect, 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 good. All right, Chris, uh, 
Catherine, select somebody. Carla, select somebody. All right, Iroki and Miguel. Iroki, you are going to be pharmaceuticals. And um, Miguel is going to be the Ms. Webb. Okay. okay. Hi. May I help be you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I get it a cool. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some some of these multi multi vitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? That's it. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Good job. All right. Go ahead, Iroki. Select somebody and Miguel. Select somebody. Um, David. David Alonso. David Alonso, you're going to be Close. the pharmaceutical. And Christian is going to be Ms. Webb. Yo sería okay. segundo, yes. Okay. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Uh, Permítame que perdí la... la. Uh, yes, please. Could I have something for a call? Uh, yes. Well, I suggest a bit of these cough drops. Thank you. You, uh, pardon. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Dry skin. Uh, try some of these new lotion. Lotion is very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He could, he should try some of these multivitamins. They are excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? All right. That's good. That's good. At this moment, do you guys have any questions about the meaning or the pronunciation or any anything that you stands out to you? A question? Somebody? No coach. Nobody? Okay. Let me have two more last but huh? Tomorrow I have we don't have class, all right? No, tomorrow is day off. Okay. Tomorrow we is day off. No class tomorrow. Lizbeth, go ahead. And Cesar. Yes. Una pregunta, teacher. Yes. En la segunda, en la conversación, en donde dice donde le pregunta después de que le pregunta el farmacéutico en qué le puede ayudar ella le contesta sí por favor podría darme algo para el qué catarro ¿Por something qué? for a cough cough es como tos <risa> okay cough. pero por qué dice could I have por qué no dice can you give me Ah, los dos puedes poner. Puedes poner, could you give me? O, could I have? Las dos expresan lo mismo. Uh, Ajá. Pero en este caso, tradúzcamelo palabra por palabra. Dice, me podría dar algo para la tos. Ah, podría darme. Gracias. Yes, of course. Thank you, Carla. Uh, yes, Liz, Beth. Ok. Teacher, hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could you I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Suggest. Try suggest. Describe con U, se pronuncia con A. Suggest. 
Tajax. Tajax. So add some of this new lot. So this it's very good. Okay, and very good. one more thing. My husband has no energy this day. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. My, I have three large bottles, please. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Excellent pronunciation, guys. So we have completed the first week. So we will not have class tomorrow. We will see you again on Monday. All right. Good night, guys. Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye. Enjoy. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Good night. Bye. You too. Bye-bye.